Hi, I'm Elizabeth along with Story at the Radford Public Library and we're here to give you a book recommendation for this book by Jane Green. It's titled Saving Grace and it came out in 2014 so it's not a new book but she has written gosh I think like 20-25 books. She's a best-selling author. Almost all of her books have gone uh, to the top of the bestseller list so quite successful in her writing and she's an adult fiction author and we have many of her books here at the Radford Public Library. This one I listened to on Overdrive, but as you can see, we also have the audio version on CD. And we have several other titles by her. Uh, this one is The Beach House. We have Dune Road. Uh, we also have Falling. We have Family Pictures. Uh, so there's several titles that I've stacked over here. Um, but there are also several more on the shelf. If this is someone you haven't read, we certainly do have many of her books to choose from. But this one, Saving Grace, has been compared to All About Eve, if you've seen that movie. I also thought a little bit about The Hand That Rocks the Cradle, which is an old 90s movie. Uh, it's about giving someone access to your family. Uh, in this story, uh, Grace is the main character. Her name is Grace Chapman, and she is married to Ted Chapman. They've been married for more than two decades. He is a very successful author, and she is an editor for cookbooks, and they've been together successfully for a long time, but primarily because they have an assistant for the family who has been very helpful to Ted, who is otherwise quite cranky and demanding. And so this assistant has helped the household run smoothly, but unfortunately when the story opens, the assistant has had to move away because her mother is not doing well. And this puts Grace in a bit of a tailspin because she's involved in so many other things in trying to um, take care of Ted and his professional needs and support is really too difficult. And so in a hurry, she hires someone named Beth. And Beth looks like she's a perfect solution on the surface, but it turns out that there's something a little bit more ominous about this character. I don't want to tell you too much, but I think comparing it to All About Eve or The Hand That Rocks the Cradle might already give it away. Uh, I looked at uh, the HuffPost website to read an interview with this author, Jane Green, and she talks about coming up with the idea for this story because personally she had hired a bookkeeper who was less than honest who actually had a history of theft and she didn't know about it of course when she hired her and so that kind of made her wonder what could have happened uh, and in this story which is very similar um, they hired somebody quite quickly without checking her background because she just seemed like a really good fit and she does do a lot of good for the family at first um, there are also other elements in this story not the least of which are mental wellness issues, some challenges that Grace encounters personally, as well as some childhood obstacles, um, having a really difficult family life, and having had that difficult family life theoretically has made her really tolerant of living in a home where she's walking on eggshells with her spouse. Uh, so there's lots of layers to the story. It's not just a simple, straightforward story. The characters, while not all of them are likable, there's enough depth there to make them relatable or believable. And uh, I really enjoyed listening to this story, which is read by the author, Jane Green. It was a fun uh, story to listen to because of her narration and also just because the story is a bit suspenseful but not too scary. Uh, it really asks of the reader some questions like, um, you know, when do you trust your own judgment? When do you listen to your intuition? And in this story, it actually goes quite far down the road before Grace can realize that she needs to turn the situation around. So that is Saving Grace. It's an adult fiction written in 2014 by author Jane Green, who has written many other best-selling novels. If you'd like to give her a try, her books are available on Overdrive and also at the Radford Public Library. Thanks so much for listening and take care.